Well, the future of the historic City Hall in Pawtucket is up in the air. Tonight, the City Council will be discussing future plans for the building. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill brings us a preview ahead of tonight's meeting and takes a closer look at the damage that they're trying to fix. Lauren. Well, Kim, Kayla, I'm told that the goal of tonight's meeting is to get everyone on the same page, discuss what needs to be fixed here at City Hall and whether it's worth paying for these improvements or if they should decide to move to a new building. Pawtucket City Hall is in need of some upgrades. It's a living nightmare. The main concern, the City Hall Tower. Every time it rains, the damage gets worse. The rain drips down from the tower into the main building, making the paint peel. A spokesperson for the city says it constantly impacts the elevators. They have fans to dry out the building and prevent mold, drainage tubes and buckets, but it's not enough. We're going to talk about City Hall in its entirety, the scope of the projects that need to be done there in order to make a complete building safe and uh, accessible for the, the uh, population. Councilman Mark Wildenheen says they've had an assessment done and it will cost anywhere from 18 to $22 million to renovate and replace the tower. And the construction could take months, taking down the structure brick by brick and rebuilding it again. Still has to be maintained, so within you know five or 10 years, we'll have to go through this process all over again. The councilman says it could cost about 80 to $100 million to fix the whole building. Doesn't make any sense anymore. He says the police and fire department built Buildings won't be impacted, but City Hall can't stay here while the building is under construction, so they'll need to find a new home for city government no matter what decision they come to. Now the meeting is expected to start at 6 and I'm told by the town council that there will be a public comment period where residents can voice their concerns. Live in Pawtucket, Lauren Brill, 12 News.